Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome to another little course vlog. Hey, this is a quick nine holes. We're gonna be cruising around the cruiser course here at the Navy Golf Course in Cyprus. If you're new to the channel, subscribe down below, like the video, and we'll head right out there to number one. Here we go. Wrapping around the Los Alamitos Air Base, Navy Golf Course here has 27 great holes for you. The cruiser course here is a smaller executive style course with par fours and par threes, but man, it is really a test. Just about 270 yards of a par four here on the first. I didn't want to go long, so it was a three wood here just short of the green, a 56 degree wedge that I needed to leave underneath the hole. These greens run fine, so if you're above them, it's going to be a tricky and slippery putt back down the hill. Just past the hole for birdie, we're going to be playing everything out today and in the hole to see what we can get for a score, and we're down for par on the first. Just over 150 yards here on the second hole, the first of the par threes out here, and they are tough. To a back hole location, I just missed my target off to the right, but the distance was perfect. The Kikuya grass will not allow me to hit any kind of putts unless it's a perfect, perfect lie. So I'm gonna have to elevate it over that little bit of fluffy grass and get it down close. I'm also gonna need to take my putter and make sure I hit these balls in the hole. Now this par three is a brute, easily the number three handicap here, and it's over 200 yards. A five iron there as this was playing back into the wind and I found the right front bunker. Not a great lie, but it's kind of get what you can play with out here at the cruiser course, about 15 to 20 feet above the hole here for par. There we go, a nice par, and we can head on to the toughest par three, in my opinion, number four. Now, number four is a converted par four. There's a hidden tee box about another 40 yards back and to the right, but this one is a brute of a par three. A big waste area to the right and bunkers protecting this long par three. I found the right bunker again, two long par threes, and I found the right bunker in both of them, but this putt I couldn't quite convert. Right on line, but I just didn't have the distance. Now here playing almost 250 yards, this fifth hole is kind of a par three and a half. It's definitely a par four on the card, and a two iron should just barely get there, but I flared this one off to the right again. Three long irons in a row off to the right. A little chippy five iron from underneath the tree. I got it up onto the green and had a look here for birdie. Almost slid it there in the left-hand side, but it wasn't meant to be. Now here, the longest hole here on the nine holes. Over 350 yards. It's the number one handicap purely because of the distance, but it's nothing I can't handle with my driver, taking it right over the corner and landing it here just about 55 yards short of this flag. A very awkward number. Landing it just barely on the flag and rolling out, driver was probably not the play here as I needed to have more spin coming into this flag. From 30 feet away, we get rejected by the flag stick. I'm gonna call it a birdie, I like that. It's down, here we go, number seven. A seven iron here from 190 back straight into the breeze. This one was a tough, tough shot. Landing just short left on the fringe. This one only had about three inches to roll through, so it was an easy choice to choose the putter. Almost was able to get that one to drop from 50 feet. I really had the speed of the greens down as we head here to the shortest hole in the course. Number eight is tricky. A big back to front tilt on that green is really going to accentuate any spin on a wedge that you're hitting into it. Underneath the hole from 20 feet was no problem. Right in the bottom of the cup for another birdie. 
and we can head on down to the last. Now the ninth hole is cool. The ferry runs out at about 200 yards and then you have to fly the ravine to get to the green. But I'll just take my three wood and hit it right next to the green, nearly on the putting surface. This one called for the flat stick as well. Trying to feed it down there as close as I can to get a closing birdie. We framed it up here with the gorgeous sunset right behind us. And as I went to take it back, I knew the stroke wasn't right. Don't be afraid to back off if you ever need to. I reset and hit the putt. Please subscribe and we'll see you next time. Later.